And hey everybody, welcome back, Bog Mod here, playing more. What are we, what are we reading? Oh yeah, I wonder if they changed the titles. Nope, they still have that classic book, Christ, Who's Gonna Die First? You can see that in the bottom right there. That is a, that is, that is a book that has been there for, I think, since Cold Steel. Hey, Beth. So pinch me. There's no way that these are pintily bags. Mm, I'm gonna drool. We have to like the heck. I didn't get anything. <clears throat> Not the shoes to die for. I'll find a husband that'll just have me pick out a mirror and tell me to go nuts. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Jardin Boutique. No, sorry, Newman of the Jardin Boutique. Clients will care something forever. Please take your time to look around. We will. Thank you so much. Test the shop's selection. I've come here myself on occasion. You ever visited this shop, Van? Eh, I guess here and there. Mostly for the accessories they stock more than the clothes. <coughs> my gifts. Oh. Connections to have my to-do list. Mm, all right. Welcome. Thank you for coming. A cartoon handkerchief. Gift for Yumi. A handkerchief painted, printed with a kid's comic. Alright, we're gonna buy that. Everyone knows that for defense, cotton superior to leather. Thank you for the Speed is always king. Your next visit. All right. Thank you for visiting the Ooh. We have to remember to be checking the um, vending machines. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. <laughs> Did I say who I was? I am Bogmod. This is Trails Through Reverie. Trails locked. Yeah, this is efficient. All right. Oh, sorry, not Trails. Trails Through Daybreak. Hey, Van. Who's the Brooklyn, huh? Who's the girl? One of your clients or something? She's actually my new assistant, believe it or not. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hey, name's Sylvie. Third generation of family gunsmiths. No, a shop like this in a department store. No, I knew of it. There were some people that enjoy hunting and competitive shooting. But I guess this isn't the kind of shop I was expecting. It's very proper. You need something? Gotta do it right. It's a Got lots of nice folks coming by. Custom ordered, modifying weaponry up to customer's desired specs. Within reason, of course. Mm. Kind tells really gotta trust you to let them take with their weapons like that, myself included. Weapon. Got some marble staff parts lying around, don't you? Maybe else, of course, as long as the mirror's on the table, I'm happy to do my job. All right. Weapon parts can be purchased from from certain shops. Okay. You got a permit, yeah? What have we got? Steel edge. Well. Sub parts. I'm gonna have to come back when I get more money. I'll get more good stuff in stock soon. Let's see what I'm. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Mm -hmm. 
let's see. Alrighty. Oh, the IOTA Workshop. I think that covers this place. We got another shop to go to. Uh, let's cross over. Oh, there's Iota. I can't stop staring at Trion Tower. It's so pretty. It's also big as hell. 230 arge tall. Arge! Sure. Can't miss it wherever you go. When tourists come to visit, it's always the first thing they see. Is there issue? Is there a tear on the tape? Judith looks so freaking cool. Yeah, so psyched for this picture of our new movie. We're going to stand. Judith looked pretty fire this week. Right? Oh, super hyped to see Elaine in last week's edition. I think the chances I meet her one day will be like, we're in the same city. Maybe. It might happen, Greta Kopiaka. Don't say it won't ever happen. You never know. Not this way. Oh. Not this way. Nope. Van does not want to go into the guild. Who can I see in there, though? There's, there are people in there. Bubble Cafe Iota. Ooh, fancy. Mm, that's pretty normal concept. Come buy some ornaments, kick back, relax, and the coffee or tea. I guess it's like if they made like a, an Apple store into a cafe as well. Factory. Just don't know if so much about. What a novel idea to come out of the cafe city with an old store. Think about back my hotel of Oracion. Butler Markley. This probably is. He could probably kill everyone in this room. Bottlers in this game. Very deadly. Very elite. Startups ever since school days. Alright. Ayla. Device. Come out for more complicated questions. Alright. That's very polite of him. Manager Garlo. Oh, Mr. Arkride. Contract with you. Your arts plugin arrived. Ooh, a plugin. Yeah, you probably know what those are. Some bizarre strobes, yeah? Uh, I guess many slots, then where you can put arts in. Custom slots. Mm, man. Variety of plugins. Alright. Arts driver. Changes the recruits driver. Arts plugins. Okay. Go with fire. Time for the plugin itself. Same thing costs nothing. All right. That's not for using. Yeah, long story. Driver and art plugin. Okay. Drivers, plugins, sept mass septiums. Must be your client. Van Arkwright, solution speaking. Daniel. 
Tommy has left the house already, so he should be arriving at the orbital store any time now. Okay. Spy don't know. I need to take this seriously. Vacation. Need help with something? I do want that. Hmm. I don't know if I can afford all of this. Whatever you need. What will you have today? Didn't expect to have to sell that, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Whoever said it's not fine, you're wrong. It's the finest. Thanks for coming. I can handle any maintenance. Start with basic space arts. I, I don't know that I need experience with these, do I? I think I can just swap them. And it's based on the character with their. Yeah, the driver doesn't seem to matter. The hollow core is what matters. Okay. Thanks for being such a good customer. What will you have today? Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Cafe Irda. Where are you from? Fusion of the uh, no deeper reasons for the fusion, like Oral Tech and cafes. Oh, it's the owner. All right. The their latte is all sold out. I forgot about his dance area's expertise. Yes, he's a foodie. Do you have any preferences? Excellent milk latte. I've had the roof's coffee already. Thanks for coming in. Do you have any preferences? Thanks for coming in. 
Love me a sugar rush. Let's see, maple scone. Latte. Wheat tea, check. Granola bar, check. A soap tomato, check. Chocolate sable. Check something now. Making sure I'm not missing. I'm proud of all my wares. Chef cookie. Okay, no, no. We got we got the the recipe. Just haven't cooked it yet. Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. It's been a pleasure. Good to know. Hey, it's this guy again. Good mm -hmm. afternoon, late. It's family vacation. She has politician. This is girl. All day's work. All right. Damn, this place is packed today. <laughs> Not good with crowds, I assume. Nah, I love them. Perfect thing to slip into when someone's tailing my ass. <laughs> Wait, you better not have to sue me up. This is because I'm a woman. He's in for rude way. Good for you, Malice. Super perv. Exit. Secure. Okay. He says that. You look at him and he feels more like the criminal in this situation. Fan's not a criminal. Back today. Come on, Mina. Time to go shopping with mommy. I don't want to go. So she never listens to me. Right. Well, them's kids. All right. So I think I've collected all the goodies that I need. Oh yeah, right. There should be a connect. There we go. People involved. Van, Agni, Anya, Elaine, Renee, Yumi. Walmart's granddaughter. Old we'll connection with CID. Famous familiar face. New part timer. Quirky Spriggan. Alright, right, so I want to get level 3 on all possible routes for the end. Okay, for the law gray um, system. Okay. <clears throat> well, oh no, there's not enough. I can't get everyone to max connect level in a single playthrough. That's annoying. Uh, 
escape? Yeah. That seems like a good spot to keep an eye out. But be casual. Don't have to wear drawing trust because you're nervous. Perfectly. It's Daniel, a little cash register thief. Um, looking for the latest model of Vern's cutting edge glare series of mobile cameras. Okay, well, it comes in and out of stock all the time. You'll buy a camera. An expensive one. 50 grand! You know, I pulled together to pay Vantage first. Buy a precious gemstone with that much mirror. Yeah, that sounds very much like real life. Photography, a real mirror pit of a hobby if you're serious about it. I'd rather sink 50 grand on Mark Karma, to be honest, but that's just me. Some sort of car buff? Is he acting a little strange? Doesn't want to buy the camera to begin with. He wasn't even sure what camera he wanted in the first place. He had run down his set like he's here for someone else. Hmm. Not open and shut case, but guess not. I think he's about to leave. Hmm. Let's tail him. The meeting, I don't want to be late. He didn't want to be late so much, he just phased through a woman. Lost him. It's definitely here somewhere, though. Let's look around and see if we can find him. Right. I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. Don't worry. You're right on time. Peaceful man. There we go. Bought it, no problem. Camera right? Yes, it certainly is. Going out of your way to purchase it. It's agreed. I will no longer be pressing charge of what happened. So much. Ah, someone's blackmailing him. So it seems real fishy about all of this. Sorry to bring you a parade, but you mind putting on this on hold for a sec? Let's go down here. From our great solutions office. We work here in the capital. We're hired to investigate you, Daniel. <gasps> Did not hire you. Alright, we're not here to stop you guys or anything. Just want you to tell us a little about what's happening here. What's the story? Das, we need something to report back to our clients. It's our job, after all. I don't want him to tell the full truth. He can help you out there, too. It's going so well, too. I guess it can't be hurt to tell you since you're willing to keep this all secret. So do you mind if I do the talking? I'm telling them the truth, so if you would. Alright. Here's it goes, riding my bike to work as always. I'm really busy. I have to take the next one over instead. I'm going to ride into this man here. Canvas totally ruined. She got into an accident. turn over to the police and sue for damages. I don't know that's true. I mean, to be fair, I don't know what the full legal system is here, so I shouldn't I shouldn't necessarily jump on that point. I mean, it, it sounds scammy, and I think that might be what they're going for, but I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Nobody. So getting sued to cause a lot of trouble for both me and my family. Not together with the intention of paying it back later. By no one. just for being a decent human being. If I check uh, just one thing, can you show me the broken camera that started all this? What will that achieve? You know, the was young Daniel here purchased of that, I'm certain. The exact model name on it. So I'm certain he bought the right one. Yeah, that's not... The, the, the. We could be lying which model was broken in the first place. The only way we can be sure is it's all fair and above board is to see it. Yeah. 
Could we take advantage of this to make Daniel buy him a more expensive camera than the one he damaged? Yeah, exactly. It's true. I rode him out of nowhere. He wouldn't have had time to come with a line like that. You need a kit? I rode over a mock-up? Yeah. Product replica that's equipped with just the bare minimum functions so you can test how it feels to use. A few scammers go around using those to get people to buy them the real thing. Like it's compensation for an accident they deliberately caused by running to their victim, for example. You're not suggesting. It's quite an accusation you're making there. I've ever carrying around broken items. I'm afraid I can't prove anything right now. Nothing to do with any of this. You've got the right to order me around. I ain't ordering you around. I can just sit back and let this poor guy get swindled out of a lot of mirror just because he didn't know any better. Nothing wrong with opening his eyes up a little. It's coming for me since the actually was my fault and everything. Would it be possible to see the broken camera after all? Oh, it does have to be that. Try to pin this on me. Ooh. Chance to settle this out, of course, was with Snake. Ooh, I sound you. Just want a reason to believe your story. Won't you give us one? I'm the victim here. Why am I supposed to be the legal here? I just want to do it here, I guess. It's time to shift gears a little. Get up on the camera and leave this guy alone. We'll let you go. What are you going to be so lucky if you try and pull this shit again? <laughs> you got away with it if you had to come along, asshole! Oh, what a joke this is. I've had enough. You go. Take your damn camera. What? Man, what a shit show. You better watch it. If you come across this solution's office yours again, I'm gonna put you in your damn place. You exactly mean if I ever have the displeasure of seeing you again. And what's this to set? Yeah. To me by surprise. It's the best outcome for you, isn't it? And you don't need to give away the camera after all. Money from the cash registered your job to buy it. I just bought the thing. I'm sure the shop will let you return it if that's what you want to do at least. Dreaming. It's going to return the money as soon as I could. Take it in the first place. Guess I have the option of refunding the camera and turning it ASAP. It's a course of action. How are you planning to put it back? That's a good question. Well, when I see it, you got two options here. Explain what happened to your boss. Turn the mirror in person. Can't guarantee you're not going to get fired on the spot. You only square up about it. It was right. But you're being exploited by a criminal. Hopefully they'll go easy on you if they know that. The option is to slip the money back without telling anyone. Sounds like your friend's already covering for you. So I don't need discrepancy in the numbers. is going to start be traced right back to you. you chop and everything. But no promise your conscience will be clean after the fact. So you owned up to the mistake. I think well. What would I do? In, well, I think I think Van would conceal the truth. But I think I think this guy, from what we've seen, um, will have it weigh on his conscience. Um, so I'm going to tell him to own up to it. My take on things is that it was a bad thing, but not the end of the world. Just a moment. Pass five with you. I don't think the guy in decent chance. Well, if this were the real world, I think he would lose his job, but not get. Sh depending, like, from my take of is his where he seems to be working and everything, he's pro he'd probably lose his job, but not get charges pressed against him. That's my read on it. I could be wrong, of course. Um, however, this is, of course, JRPG land. And I think in this uh, in this setting, honesty might be the best policy. And I don't know about this guy's conscience. He seems like the type that it would wear. It would weigh on him. I feel like the guilt is going to eat at you. Yeah, that's that's my reasoning, Van. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right, Ben. I'm gonna tell my boss about it. Last thing I want is to drag your lot into this. Could stand if they find out the money's gone. Blame him for covering for me. I own up to my mistakes and move on. Even have to face the consequences of my actions. I think you're doing the right thing. I'm rooting for you. I'm gonna assume Lot was the one who hired you. Uh, that, no way. That we shouldn't be revealing. That seems like 
confidential, conf confidential, uh, employee confidential privileges. Do you take the money for the cash and was worried about you? Damn, I had a feeling he'd see me do it. Are they paying you instead of him? You're on anything, but I am sure. Oh, and no stolen here either. Saying, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. I didn't cover the full amount with stolen mirror anyway. 20,000 came from my own pockets. So I left in for what I stole. Glad to hear it. Buy the money when you're set then. Will do. I apologize a lot about the whole thing too. Thank you for hiring you. You really saved me that today? Thank you so much. That takes care of that. Yeah, from the phone. 1,500 mirror. Ooh. You know that 1,500 bucks? I might. Now, you know what? I think I'm going to. Off screen, redo this bit. Yeah. And not buy certain items so that I cannot have to sell certain other items. Since I get cash. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, uh, when we come back, we will continue the story. Thank you all for watching. What do you think Van should have suggested? The lie or the truth? Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all soon for more.